Artificial intelligence, AI, is rapidly becoming an integral part of our society. From self-driving cars to virtual assistants, we are seeing more and more applications of AI in our daily lives. As technology continues to advance, AI is becoming even more powerful, capable of performing complex tasks and making decisions with increasing accuracy. However, there is one major issue that has been holding back the advancement of AI. But before we dive into the details, let's first talk about the current state of AI and why neuromorphic computing is such a big deal. As we all know, AI is rapidly growing and becoming an integral part of our daily lives. However, there is one major problem that has been holding back the advancement of AI, power consumption. Traditional computers consume vast amounts of power, which limits their ability to process large amounts of data and perform complex tasks. But here's the thing, the human brain doesn't have this problem. Despite being incredibly powerful, the human brain consumes less power than a light bulb. So, how does it achieve this? The answer lies in neuromorphic computing. Neuromorphic chips are a new type of technology that mimic the way the human brain works. They have artificial neurons and synapses that can process information quickly and efficiently. This means that computers using these chips will be smarter and use less energy. They also have the ability to learn quickly. It uses hardware modeled after the structures, processes, and capabilities of biological neurons and synapses. The most popular form of neuromorphic hardware is the spiking neural network, SNN. In SNNs, nodes, or spiking neurons, process and store data just like biological neurons do. Artificial synaptic devices connect these spiking neurons and use analog circuitry to transfer electrical signals that mimic brain signals. Unlike traditional computers, which encode data using a binary system, spiking neurons measure and encode the discrete analog signal changes themselves. So what is the difference between this and traditional computing? The traditional computing architecture, also known as the von Neumann architecture, separates memory and computing. This means that von Neumann chips have to constantly shuttle information back and forth between the memory and CPU causing delays and wasting energy, a problem known as the von Neumann bottleneck. For a long time, chip makers have been able to increase the amount of computing power on a chip by cramming more transistors onto von Neumann processors, following Moore's law. However, problems with shrinking transistors any further, their energy requirements, and the heat they throw out mean that without a change in chip fundamentals, this trend will not continue for much longer. As time goes on, Von Neumann architectures will make it increasingly difficult to deliver the necessary increases in compute power. To keep up, a new type of non-Von Neumann architecture will be needed, a neuromorphic architecture. While quantum computing is also a potential solution, neuromorphic computing, or brain-inspired computing, is more likely to be in use sooner. Neuromorphic computing overcomes the Von Neumann bottleneck by mimicking the structure and function of the human brain. Unlike von Neumann systems, which are largely serial, brains use massively parallel computing. This allows for faster and more efficient processing. Additionally, brains are more fault-tolerant than computers, which is another advantage researchers hope to model within neuromorphic systems. Recent advancements in neuromorphic computing systems have focused on new hardware, such as microcombs. Microcombs are neuromorphic devices that generate or measure extremely precise frequencies of light. According to a neuromorphic research effort at Swinburne University of Technology, neuromorphic processors using microcombs can achieve 10 trillion operations per second. This powerful technology could be used to detect signals from distant satellites and potentially diagnose illnesses at early stages by analyzing medical scans. Due to its potential to improve efficiency, neuromorphic computing has garnered attention from major chip manufacturers such as IBM and Intel, as well as government agencies. Developments in neuromorphic technology could enhance the learning capabilities of state-of-the-art autonomous devices such as drones and robots, as well as other AI applications.